Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode and in this episode we will done our rest of the work from the previous tutorial. In last episode I have shown about the binow functionality. We have configured our binow form and some links configured our servlet created our order class. So in this episode we will work with our database. So how to store the data with our database. We would like to store the order data in our database. So in this tutorial, I will show you those functionality. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to show you the database structure we have created at the beginner. So let's review the database first. This is my MySQL workbench. And here you can see that I have a table whose name is orders and this order tables has five columns which one is order ID, product ID, UID, quantity and order date. And let's say check out the structure. So order ID is integer and primary key not null and auto increment and then product ID integer, UID integer and all are is not null uid integer quantity integer and date is worker so for 50 so this is the basic structure of our database table so i have included this database file in our github repository you can check that from there now let's go back to our project so this this is our project we have done so far uh, we have uh, created our order model so now at the begin we need to create a data access object or data access class so let's uh, go to a DAO, DAO repository or a DAO package and uh, create a DAO which is order DAO then just click on finish so in order DAO we need uh, some of the functionality so i'm going to uh, collect from those from our user DAO so we need a connection we need a string query just i'm simply copy and uh, paste those in our order DAO also because uh, those are global we need that uh, in every DAO class so let me import that so it's a java sql and uh, also the ppid statement java sql also the result set from java sql okay we have imported all our necessary packages and now uh, we need to create a constructor so let's say public uh, order DAO and this order DAO will get a connection connection con and uh, this dot uh, con equal to con so this con is equal to this 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 con is referencing to this or connection here is our uh, one method will be uh, insert order to the database so let's uh, create that uh, function or method public and i'm making it boolean insert order and we are passing an order object uh, order and say it's a model or you can pass at order so it's giving an error because we need to import it this is our order model okay save and it's a returning and error because we need a return statement so we'll pass it later so let's say a boolean and a result equal to false and return that result so you can see the error has gone and next part will be uh, starting a try cast block to handle exception exception e then e dot print structures okay also you can print the message only so i just uh, print the all the structures and inside the try cast block we will perform our database action so first of all write our query query equal to so our insert query my skill insert query is insert into order so this is a table name orders and uh, pass the column name uh, pid product id uid order quantity then o date not uh, finished here so o date and the values initially we don't know the values uh, because we will set our values from our order model we have passed as a parameter so we have four values product id uid quantity and o date and the order id will generate automatically in our database also the in database uh, this uh, o date you can use as a timestamp so you can use the current timestamp so if you use current timestamps you don't need to uh, write some boilerplate uh, code about uh, this uh, 
date uh, date to get the date to format the date so you don't need to write those boilerplate code okay so if you use the timestamps so this is our insert query insert into orders product id user id order quantity and order date and there is four parameter so let's say prepare the query pst equal to these dot con dot prepare statement and pass the query and uh, set the query some data because prepared statement needs some data because we said that uh, question mark so is is question mark is pointing index one starting from one two three four est dot uh, set integer one and we say is a say model dot get uh, but here uh, is sometime confused so you can see that here is get id integer is product id and another one we have the uh, get id which is uh, order id so pst dot uh, set integer which is index 2 and say model dot uh, get uid and pst dot set integer parameter 3 and model dot get quantity get quantity then pst dot set string because this is a string format so pole and uh, model dot get date this is all about the preparing our query and then you need to execute the query so pst dot uh, execute execute update done as a prepared statement which return as an integer so if it executed successfully then we will set our result true and then we are returning that result here that's all about our insert query so i think i am done so we need to work with our servlet so let's go back to our servlet and uh, in last video we have created this model object so now our uh, task will be to call this order dao method in our servlet so um, instantiate order dao uh, order dao order dao equal to new order dao and pass the connection db db con dot get connection and from there from the order dao call the method uh, insert insert order and pass the order model so this is our order model or order object and uh, okay so it's uh, asking to add a cache exception so let's uh, add a cache clause so you can see we have uh, added a cache clause so because we have already added our try try block then here we just added the cache clause so inside the cache clause we just uh, set exception we are not uh, making it specifically okay the error is gone then store this uh, result in a variable which is written is a boolean type so result boolean equal result and then set a condition if a result then do something else do something so if it's a response dot send redirect orders dot jsp else uh, will print some value out dot uh, print ln so order failed so this is our uh, basic performance so let's uh, uh, test it that the, it's working perfectly so for that we need to restart our server server click on finish okay seems it's started and in our order page we have uh, previous two orders so you can see we have previous two orders so i can also uh, truncate the tables uh, truncate t r u n c h truncate table which is orders and then execute that i think it's executed successfully then view the orders tables so you can see that uh, now our uh, table has been resetted orders table has been resetted and there is no order right now so let's uh, perform a uh, order actions so add a card and then go to the this and click on buy now so it's asking for our login credential so click on login so it's a login failed i forgot my user credential so check out the user credential one two three four five six go for login so go to the card then click on buy now so it's redirecting us to the orders dot gsp page that means it's a uh, working perfectly let's check out our database so uh, go to the orders refresh it 
so you can see that uh, one product has been inserted in our order space so now let's uh, uh, check out that the product has been ordered but it's not removed from our cart page so now next part is to remove that product from our cart page so let's uh, do this so this is our order now servlet to perform this action i would like to go back our uh, another servlet which is uh, uh, remove from cart servlet so i'm going to that uh, servlet and just i'm going to copy this code and uh, paste it here i will explain don't worry because the functionality is same to remove from the cart so um import it yes java util import cart model okay so all errors has been gone first of all uh, we have uh, done our uh, session we uh, retrieve our cart list from the session then we start a condition if cut list is not equal to null then we have a start a for loop cart and cut list and c dot get id get id means is a product id so equal to product id and parse integer and here we need to pass our uh, product id which on is our product id set id uid quantity date and this one is our product id set id this one is product id here we get it from our form as a parameter so pass that product id here product id okay and we parse it as integer then cart list dot remove then uh, cart list dot index of c this object whole object index and then remove that object and uh, break the loop and then after then response the redirect to the card dot jsp base but in this servlet we don't need to send the response to the card dot jsp base because at the end we are sending response to the orders dot jsp base so i'm going to remove it so now I'll go to our card page then restart our server okay since server has been restarted so card page is empty so let me add uh, two more products here in our card so let's uh, buy this uh, second item ladies p pure pu shoulder bag click on buy and asking for log login credential then click on buy again so it's uh, push us to the orders.jsp page and you can see that our card page has been updated there is only one product so you can see that there is only one product and uh, check out our database uh, so refresh and you can see that our second order has been inserted successfully we need to uh, add some performance from our this page so from this uh, buy now button from the index page so how to perform this action so let's do this now let's uh, go back to our eclipse and open the index.jsp page in this buy now button we need to uh, pass our uh, parameter so which is order now then parameter is quantity q u a n t i quantity i am fixed the quantity is one and uh, pass the product id so p dot get id so save it then go back to our index page home page refresh it and hover on this link so you can see at the left corner one quantity is one and id is equal to one so let's uh, perform the action from here so click on buy now so it's redirect us to the orders dot jsp page okay so let's uh, check out a database so you can see that so order has been inserted successfully so friends that's all for this tutorial and in next episode i will show you about this uh, checkout performance checkout action for products all products so that's like in your cart has uh, four or five products uh, you can you can increment the quantity and then buy all the product together so in next video i will show you that so guys see you in next video